So, in order to determine your HI, or the height of your instrument, in uh, meters above sea level, you're going to use this. This is called a meter stick. You can see it's divided up into meters, one meter, two meters, and then it's divided up from there into decimeters and centimeters, which are all these little hash marks here. Now, to get your HI, you're going to work from a back site, which is a known point. This known point can be anything that you find in a plan at your local registry of deeds website or local government offices. It can be anything from uh, a surveyor's mark, can be anything from a mag nail to a uh, nail in a tree to a pipe to a public utility that's marked on a plant. In this case, we have this well cap here uh, marked in blue. So we know the elevation in feet above sea level. We can extrapolate that to meters above sea level and uh, this is a known point. So we're gonna put our meter stick here, and we're going to, at the top of the well cap, which is what was marked in the elevation, and we're going to point the meter stick towards our uh, transit. Now as we do, they're going to shoot an elevation here. So a good tip to make sure you have a correct elevation is to slowly rock the meter stick back and forth towards the total station. That way you can be sure that you get an accurate uh, measurement because it'll be whatever the lowest number is. Because as it rocks back, the number's going to go up. As it rocks forward, the number's going to go up. So whatever the lowest one is. So let's say that you're shooting here and you get an elevation of 1.25 meters. All right, so you get 1.25 meters from this known point or back site to here to the height of your instrument. So to calculate that, you simply add whatever this elevation is, and you add 1.25 to that. So let's say that this is 40 meters above sea level. Uh, you add 1.25 meters to that, and you get 41.25 meters above sea level, and that's your HI. So next I'm gonna show you how to shoot an unknown point, or a foresight, again, mapping foresight.